everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. I'm going to continue with VAB controlled topics again this week, although this is more of a general control terminology. This week I'm going to talk about three-point floating control. So let's get started. With VAV boxes, the actuators and hot water valves are usually three-point floating control. So what does this mean? It's basically what the name says. You use three control points to provide floating control of the device. So today, most VAV boxes have a single controller actuator unit. But when I first started, controllers and actuators were usually two separate pieces, and you had to wire the controller to the actuator. And that made it a little bit easier to look at and see what three-point floating meant. So let's draw a controller and an actuator. So the controller will have inputs and outputs to it. At least two of those will be 24 volts and one will be a common. On your actuator, you'll see something like clockwise, counterclockwise, and common. So you wire these three together, 24 volts to clockwise, 24 volts to counterclockwise, and com to com. When the controller energizes the 24 volts that's connected to clockwise, that drives the actuator in the clockwise direction. And then when you send 24 volts from the one that's connected to counterclockwise, that drives the actuator in the counterclockwise direction. The 24 volt signal will be sent to the actuator as long as the thermostat was calling for more or less air. So the actuator position would float between open and close to maintain comfort in the space. This is basically the same thing that happens with hot water valves as well. You drive it in one direction to open it, and you drive it into the other direction to close it, and how long that signal lasts determines how far it's driven open and closed. So that's three-point floating control. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.